In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple walk cycle using the free animation package Pencil. When you start Pencil, you get two layers, a bitmap layer and a vector layer. I'm only going to use the vector layer, so I'm going to click the remove layer button to remove the bitmap layer. In the edit menu, click preferences. In general preferences, there is vector curve smoothing. Moving the slider to the left will give a more accurate trace of the point of movement. Moving the slider to the right will give smoother curves. Click the draw tool and draw a rough circle for the character's head. Draw a straightish line for the character's back. Draw a straightish line for the character's first leg and slightly bent at the knee for the character's second leg. Draw the arms fairly close to the body. Click the Add Key button to add the next frame. By default, Onion Skinning is on, showing the previous frame semi-transparently. When we walk, we bob up and down. So I'm going to trace the head, but move it down slightly. And trace the back, and move that down slightly. The bent leg needs to come forward and the straight leg needs to go back and draw the arms slightly further apart Click the Add Key button to add the next frame Trace out the head, this will be the lowest position of the head in the cycle and trace out the back again slightly lower. The legs are the furthest apart. And so are the arms. Click the Add Key button to add the fourth and final frame of the cycle. Now the fourth frame will be exactly the same as the second frame, so I don't need to draw it. So I'm going to turn Onion Skinning off. Select the second frame, move the current frame to frame 2. In the Edit menu, select All. In the Edit menu, Copy. Select the fourth frame, make the current frame the fourth frame, edit, paste. Click the select button and click anywhere to deselect. Click the loop button and click play twice to loop through the walk cycle. Click the loop button to stop the looping and click play to go back to frame 1. Unfortunately, in Pencil, there is no way of creating an animated object that will continuously loop through the walk cycle. The only thing we can do is copy each frame individually and paste it down the timeline. In the Edit menu, select All. Notice the usual shortcut keys are used, Ctrl A, Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl V for paste. Select all, Ctrl and C to copy, add a new keyframe, Ctrl and V to paste. Go to frame 2, Ctrl and A to select all, Ctrl and C to copy, add a new keyframe, Ctrl and V to paste. Go to frame 3, Ctrl and A to select all, Ctrl and C to copy, 
add a new keyframe, control and V to paste. And finally, click on frame 4, control and A to select all, control and C to copy, add a new keyframe, control and V to paste. I'm going to alter the animation so that the character stands still for a second, then walks a couple of paces, then stands still for another second. Before I do that, I'm going to reduce the frame rate to 10 frames per second. I'm going to hold down Alt and select the second frame, and that will select all the following frames. And I'm going to drag those down the timeline to frame 11. Select frame 1, make it the current frame. Edit, select all. Edit, copy. Make frame 10 the current frame, add a new keyframe, edit, paste. Click the select tool and click anywhere to deselect. Select the first frame and make it the current frame. Use the modify curve tool to straighten the bent leg. We now have the character in a standing pose from frame 1 to frame 10, which at 10 frames per second is 1 second. We then go through 8 frames of the walk cycle repeated twice. For the character to stand still at the end for a further second, at frame 19 we need to insert a copy of the standing pose. In the Edit menu, select all. In the Edit menu, copy. Go to frame 19. Add a frame. Edit, paste. For the character to stand still for a second, go to frame 30. Add a frame. Edit, paste. That's the end of this tutorial on creating a walk cycle. I will do another tutorial that will show how to add a moving background object to the animation. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.